Hey everyone, Sarah here from Blue Lotus Films. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to record and edit high quality Zoom recordings. So there are some recording settings that you need to know about in your Zoom account that really make a difference in the quality of your Zoom video footage. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I share video production and video marketing tutorials for wellness business owners to increase their visibility, generate leads and increase their income. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new videos every week. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you understand that the quality of your Zoom recordings are not ideal for editing. So once you export your edited video, the Zoom video looks compressed and frankly kind of cheap and unprofessional, right? So you'll need to select a few different settings in your Zoom account using your desktop. And I'll walk you through the preferences to get everything set up now. So I just go on to Zoom and then preferences. And the first window I want to look at is the video window. And you want to go switch it from original ratio to 16 by 9. And you're not going to see the difference um, until you actually look at your recording. And then you want to enable HD. Definitely want to have HD video for editing. Mirror my video, see if I unselect it. We definitely have a difference in lighting and a difference in the way this video looks, um, which by the way, I am recording this whole demo on Zoom. So um, it's very meta here. And then we also have touch up my appearance, make sure that's checked. I'll show you the difference here. You know, it's a subtle difference, um, but you can see it does um, add some nice uh, features to kind of, you know, make the image a little softer. So then the next thing we want to look at is the audio settings. And there aren't too many settings here you really need to pay attention to. Um, the only audio setting I would recommend looking at is echo cancellation. And I want you to put it on aggressive. So aggressive, as you can see, Zoom tells you aggressive mode will cancel any echo caused by your side. However, it can cause your voice to be intermittent. Now, intermittent is okay because we're bringing this into an editing program. We can overlay images. We can use the audio in a voiceover, um, but we don't want our audio coming out sounding real echoey, right? So especially you want to pay attention to this if you're doing like a music performance or any kind of live performance. Um, you might as well err on the side of caution and just switch it to aggressive. And then the last thing you're gonna look at here is the recording features. And what I want you to pay attention to here is record a separate audio file for each participant. That's gonna give you a lot more options when you edit your audio in your editing program, You know, just give you some flexibility. And then also optimize for third-party video editor. So um, this is going to give you a higher quality file um, it, that is a lot more compatible with your editing program. And as Zoom tells you, it may increase the file size, um, but that's completely okay. It's better to start with more data in your video, a bigger file size than having a compressed file, which is what Zoom used to have um, when we used to edit our Zoom interviews, when Zoom first came out, um, we definitely had um, a much lower quality video because Zoom didn't yet have this option. So definitely check that if you're going to be editing your videos. And then you want to record video during screen sharing, which is exactly what I'm doing now as you're actually watching this video. We're recording the video and I'm screen sharing. So those are the three different places I want you to look, video, audio, and recording. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Please like this video because it greatly helps out my channel by triggering the YouTube algorithm. And comment below and let me know what type of Zoom interviews or demos are you going to record. So subscribe to my channel for more video production and video marketing tips 
every single week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day.